But then when I walked away, he tried to jump in a woman's face because he's a punk. He's a punk. That's all they do. They want to kill the narrative that Trump supporters are a bunch of white racists. Hey everyone, it's Vanessa here. We're in Tahunga, California. We're at the Stop the Steal parade or rally that they're holding here. They do a rally every Friday, and I've seen some coverage of it. It's been circling around Facebook. It's been circling around parlors. We decided to stop by. There has been lovely people here. Black Lives Matter has shown up. We'll see if they'll be back again, but we're going to document it all for you guys. Oh no, he's sad. Can you tell us why you're here today? I'm here because, um, well, I love the president, I love the administration, and I really, really, really support a lot of things that he's implemented, you know, um, anti-abortion, and he's also for giving care to babies that have survived abortions, for not allowing uh, illegal immigration, which is a way of bringing children here, stealing them from their families and giving, bringing them here in a horrendous manner. So people are saying that, you know, he's horrible, he's racist, and the wall isn't a good thing, but it helps, it keeps us safe, and it keeps them safe, because I don't know if people are aware that they kidnap children, yeah. and they bring them here under pretense that we're a family, but they're actually criminals. So, I know somebody who's been to the border and spoken over there to people, so, but people here just speak out of their, you know, out of what they hear. So, we're here in contrary to the media who lies to us and tells us many things. Actually, anything they're telling you is a lie. How do you feel about the turnout of this election? Well, Trump won the election on um, Tuesday night on the 3rd yeah. when the polls closed. Yeah. He was the winner. I felt like Santa Claus had come and my brand new bicycle, my red bicycle was under the Christmas tree and I woke up in the morning and it was gone. Yeah. So I assume since we're out here we don't think that this was a fair election. At what point did it give it away to you that this wasn't done fairly? Let's see, when California called it after five minutes yeah. of closing. Yeah. And other states, same thing, yeah. you know, calling it at when it wasn't even finished. Yeah. And this is one of my first ever elections, so I'm not really sure of this, but do they ever stop counting in the middle, like, right before? No. Like, if you look at your envelope, yeah. the envelope, if you get a, a, a absentee ballot, and you look at the envelope, it says you have 17 days after the 3rd to yeah. get your vote in. That's the 20th. Yeah. And that's never happened before. It's not on this scale of ma mail-in voting. Not that I, not that I, no, not that I'm aware of. And yeah. that's why they don't uh, swear them into office till January. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Well, I do know what happened. Yeah. But we're going to uncover it. Yeah. So y you don't believe that this was a, a fair election, I assume? Okay. I think we, we need integrity yeah. in our elections. And we don't just need a recount. We need to canvas. We need to canvas them. Yeah. I don't think a recount is going to prove anything. Yeah, it's true. We need an audit. We need to look through this exactly. and prevent it from happening again. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And I'm just, I, I just thank the Lord that Trump is not going to concede. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to encourage him to do that. And I think that Biden is just beyond ridiculous what's going on um, with China. I think this election is really, or this war, is really between like, like we're, it's a, we're at war with Soros and China. That's my feeling on it. Well, thank you so much. He's just trying to be rude. He's right there, I think. He's right there in the truck, I believe. I don't know, because the thing is, is that when you're in support of things, you honk your horn. So it just sounds like a patriot. Oh, thank you. Thank God they showed up. If they didn't show up, I don't know what I do. Like I mentioned earlier, it's really unfortunate that like we're out here and we need to be protected to use our freedom of speech. So we have to have cops out here watching to make sure that like anti or Black Lives Matter doesn't come over and start um, chaos or ruckus. A few moments later. These people over here are opposed to answering questions. I guess they've been not so civil. And so he's come onto the sidewalk where normally they were staying up in the parking lot. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, so then they could get video footage of yeah. us getting angry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
We have all we have all the um, pa Patriot dads coming. <laughs> So someone has a taser over there, so we're going to stay a little distance away. So the rest of the anti-Trump protesters have moved. To, actually, they're starting to come around here. Get him. It'll be Inception. Inception! He's probably going to say, these horrible people out here filming me. It's like, you know what? We really love the camera you're filming with. It's a $40. Oh, I got that on rollback at Target. Oh, we're just out here just celebrating the time we've put into rallying for Trump. Mm -hmm. And uh, we thought we'd uh, give all our supporters a, you know, good little meal. And oh, you, you guys put this together? Yes. Oh, it's very, the barbecue is very good. Yeah. So, yes, it was yeah. delicious. We, you, we usually have, we've had a few barbecues out of here before, but we always try to take care of our people. So. Yeah. Trump supporters is talking to the group of guys that got sent away by the cops initially. And the guy with the red camera loves us. He's got us on camera. I'm gonna cry to my 10 viewers. I can only get in women's faces and then when a man gets in my face, I get bullied. I'm oppressed, I'm oppressed. I think, he's, I think he's fucking crying. I know, I think he's he is crying. too. I think he's crying. Yeah, what brings you out here today? Um, let me see, my friends. Yeah. Interest of my friends, I love my friends. Uh, I like supporting them, and we support one another. Yeah, this started with three people. Wow. And, uh, you know, we have well over 100 supporters just yeah. in this little group here. Yeah. So. Yeah, when we're standing up for our flag and defending our country. Yeah, and that's what happened. Everybody would come by. We were having lunch, and we were just parked out on the sidewalk, and everybody was coming by and say, oh, what's this Trump? You know, because we had the flags. Yeah. And they were, oh, can we take pictures? And then little by little, more people came by and joined us. Yeah. And before we knew it, it turned into well over 100 people. You can almost tell who's in support of it and who's against it. Woo! Did you see the grandma? <laughs> Get the guy. Woo! Asked you for six feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then he said I was spitting in his face. Six feet away. No, I told him. So I handed off my flag. He was trying to bully an older man, yeah. so I saw that. So I went and jumped in his face, right? Because I'm probably the same age as him, right? But not as hefty, right? No big deal. And so, anyway, so he tried to then go into a woman's face, right? Because he's such a big badass. But when I told him to hit me, he wouldn't hit me. But then when I walked away, he tried to jump in a woman's face. Cause he's a punk, he's a punk, that's all they do. They like to intimidate people that won't fight back. But when I handed up my pole and told him to hit me, cause I'd rock his shit, he didn't want none. He didn't want none. How do you feel about the outcome of the election? Uh, I don't have an opinion, and that that's uh, a truth. And so, um, What are you dressed as? Um, I, I think kind of a Robin Hood-esque person. I think that's kind of what I'm going for. Yeah. I've just kind of come to the conclusion that I'm just going to start wearing costumes when I go out from now on because I don't care about societal norms anymore. Good. I'm just, I, the other day I went grocery shopping in a ball gown. So um, how do you feel about the outcome of this election? Uh, it hasn't been decided yet. Yeah. So. Very true. <laughs> do you, um, when do you think that this is going to stop? Like people are going to stop rallying for this? Do you think it's going to be Inauguration Day or do you think that we should continue pursuing this? I think at Inauguration Day there's going to be big parties. Everyone's yeah. going to be out celebrating. Like, Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, the truth has been, justice has come out. It's really true. Yeah. Well, my name is Joel. I, um, I'm with Project America. I'm doing the same thing that you do. Um, and I've been coming to the Beverly, uh, not the Beverly Hills rally, to the Tahunga rally since uh, early June. Yeah. Like every weekend, every Friday? It's Yeah, it's every Friday. I started coming out because at the time, um, there was uh, all kinds of commotion going on, all kinds of rioting and stuff like that. Yeah. And I just felt like I wanted to, well, I wasn't intentionally looking for this. I kind of ran into it. But it was at the perfect timing because, uh, you know, there was all kinds of unpatriotic stuff happening. Yeah. So it was refreshing to see people that actually cared about the country. You know what I mean? What happens when the bullies become the bullied? They get bullied back. And he doesn't like it. That's why he's staying. That's why he's staying up there because he doesn't like it now. 
He knows. He knows. You know what I mean? He's not even BLM nor Antifa. He's just out here because he wants attention. He he probably has a failed YouTube channel, and now he figures he can cover BLM and Antifa along with Trump rallies because he has no friends and no life. Like, come on, now look, the election was how long ago? And he puts a I voted sticker on your hat. He probably voted multiple times. I mean, maybe he did. But I mean, the election was how long ago? And he's got an I voted sticker? Come on now. Two plus two equals four. Yeah, get a picture of his I voted hat. Look, there you go. Because he probably voted like five times. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. That's what the Democrats are able to do. They're like, hey, if I can commit EDD fraud, I can sure commit election fraud. And that's what they want. That's what they want. They want to be able to commit fraud and be like, accept the results, but they're mad because Trump is winning. And they know it. It's like I told a Democrat the other day, if they truly believe that Biden was winning, take those boards off. Take those boards off those windows in those Democratic rent neighborhoods. But she won't. Why won't you? Because they know that when Trump gets elect, reelected, and he will, that they're going to riot and they're going to loot. They're like, hey, let's go steal a PS5 in the name of democracy. Like, it's it's clown stuff. It's retarded. It's retarded. Yeah. So do you support the efforts that they have out here? Are you in support of it or are you just, are you documenting it? Oh, I'm, are you I'm, I'm doing both. Yeah. No, no. I'm 100% I'm in support. I am 100% a patriot. And I'm documenting at the same time. Um, you should have been here back in July. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. And you might have seen my videos because I, I posted a police arrest that happened here oh. with it between Antifa, the police, and um, that video went, that video just exploded. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll look for it. Is, is this like more low key than normal or? Oh, it, well, okay, so it used to be up the street. Yeah. And when it was up the street, there would be like, there'd be like maybe 70, 70 to 100 people on this side. And on the other side, there was a counter protest that was happening. So uh, that all kind of climaxed with the confrontation with uh, like 100 Antifa that showed up. Wow. And it just kind of exploded. The businesses got really upset with all the activity that was going on. So we moved down here, uh, you know, just for the businesses so that it wouldn't cause so much commotion. So, yeah. How, how'd, you, how'd you like the barbecue? I thought it was the most delicious. I could tell those ribs were smoked at least five hours. Yeah. These guys are coming over here trying to give a bad name to yeah, this. They just try to antagonize yeah. them. I just tell everybody, just ignore them because, yeah. you know, that's what they want to do. They want to just antagonize people just so they can get a film clip. Yeah. You know. To go viral. To go viral. Honestly, and it's like the bully mentality. I'm sure they're the ones telling people not to bully, and then they're over here bullying. Making yeah. people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, and they're wasting these officers' time because yeah. there's no reason for these officers to be out here. Yeah. They've got better things to do. Uh, we're a peaceful group here, you know. Why why bother us, you know? We're just trying to have a good time. Yeah. You know, if you want to be miserable, go be miserable in your mom's basement. I hate when people are going in front of cars. <laughs> don't, don't cross. Ah, dude. He didn't even look on the right, Grandpa. They're not. I mean, the... Except for the handful over there, they're not out there right now. Why do you think that is? Um, well, they just got tired of coming out, I guess. Yeah. Either that or they, you know, maybe some of them get paid and maybe the organizers get paid. I don't know. And they aren't getting paid anywhere. I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, they're not really here. Except for a few that are over there and they're getting fatigued, so they won't yeah. be here long. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, what made you start your YouTube channel? About, okay, I started it about a year and a half ago. And it happened after the Vox apocalypse. I don't know if you know about that, but that was when Carlos Maza from Vox uh, basically went to YouTube and asked them to, to censor videos. And so hundreds of conservatives just started disappearing. Now it's probably in the thousands. But conservatives just started disappearing. And I thought, you know what? I have to speak up. And if you go to my channel, which is Project America, which is, you know, the icon is Abraham Lincoln with shades like this. Um, I, I search for the narrative. Uh, I, I actually, I want to kill the narrative that Trump supporters are a bunch of white racists. Yeah. If you've been to the Beverly Hills rally, I'm not sure if you've been there or not. I've seen footage. I okay. Yeah. So I go there a lot, and um, I try to show that that is, that is Martin Luther King's vision of America. It is every race that you could think of, black, white, Persian, Mexican, Jews, I mean, everything that you could possibly think of. And most of them, I wouldn't say most of them, but a lot of them used to be Democrats but now they're Trump supporters. Yeah. Dude, they don't even call themselves Republicans. They're just Americans that are out there celebrating America. Yeah. Well, thank you for your work. Well, we really you. appreciate it. Hey, and Project America, go there, not, go there now, like and subscribe. Yes, check them out. But like I said, he's pretty big stepping to a woman, but little does he know, like other people will stand in, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're not gonna hit a woman and think you're gonna get away with it, especially not at a Patriot rally, so you know?
it is what it is. So thank you for protecting. No problem, no problem. Take care, you guys. I, I do pork barbecue ribs myself, and they turn out absolutely amazing. And I think these were uh, really good, really good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. The garbage man, a honk. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know he did. So guys, that is a chicken wrap. We are done here at the Tahunga Rally. We've been invited to go to the Long Beach Rally tomorrow, so we're gonna see if we're gonna stop by. There are a bunch of great patriots here. We had a little issue with um, some anti-patriots, I guess I could say, but overall, a great event, and I'm so happy to be here, and I hope you guys liked it. If you guys liked it, please give it a like. If you didn't like it, you can give it a dislike. If you wanna see more from this channel, please hit the subscribe button, because we're here just trying to show you guys the truth. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.